Their fights usually happen at night, after a day of rest, preparation, and contemplation. But three South Shore natives were up at the crack of dawn Wednesday for the slim chance that they could catch the biggest break in the sport of mixed martial arts. Matt Johnson, a Holbrook native, Eric McGee from Whitman, and Eric Foley from Marshfield trek to the Sheridan Boston Hotel for a chance to be cast on The Ultimate Fighter, a reality show on Spike TV that pits 16 fighters against each other in a tournament. Straight out. You name it, I've kicked the guy off the show for it. It's Wednesday at 10. Hundreds of fighters came out from across the country and grappled in front of the UFC president, former Boston resident Dana White. We're looking for guys who uh, you know, are young enough, have a good record, and obviously you know, look like they have some good skills. It's booming here in New England. When we first started, seeing a lot of people from New England you know, was unusual. Now it's, it's not at all. But I was in Iraq and Afghanistan. I was in the invasion of Iraq and uh, Afghanistan. And, uh, I mean, it's, I think it gives you like a better perspective on it. Like, if you're going into a fight, I mean, it sounds kind of corny, but it's like, you know, I'm not going to die. <laughs> you can get your face smashed, but yeah. I'll walk away. Yeah. Uh, so, it makes it a little easier, I guess. Seem Good. worse, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell when guys are scared, when they're not scared. I look for the, uh, I look for the scared guys. I try to avoid the confident guys. Yeah. For the most part. What do you see in the face that tells you right away, or in the posture? How do you know if they're scared they're, or not? They're staring at the ground. They're, 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 they're looking at everybody. Just like, they're overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm a little bit older than a lot of the guys here, and I know they look for more. They look for younger guys, obviously, because it's who they can market down down the line. So they put invest more money in younger guys. So I figured I just you know, but it's, uh, I think we were just talking about earlier. If I uh, might as well just give it a shot, and if I uh, you, you know show, and I sat home and thought about it today and it didn't come in, and it's right. Even though odds are against you making it, uh, at least I tried. White announced names of those who moved on to the next round. Only one from the South Shore trio was called. Eric McGee. Yeah, it's kind of nerve-wracking. It always is in an environment like this. This more so, I feel, because it's all competitive. So everyone can, 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 can critique you more so than some drunk in a fight. <laughs> That's right, that's right. So what are you, what are you hoping for? Uh, get the call back. McGee, a former Army Ranger, hopes to be chosen in the next round of contestants who will be flown to Las Vegas for another tryout. We're going to get out of here and, and make some money. I mean, have a good time and really, I mean, I'll, I'll take it to the fullest extent if, I, if it's available to me. I mean, that's why I'm here today. I mean, I'll take any opportunity to try and get it discovered. Just get your name out there on the national stage is, is huge, and it's tough to do. There's so many guys here. This is blown up so big. I mean, you know, like, who knows half the guys in here. They might not even be fighters. They might just want to be on a reality show. For more on the Ultimate Fighter casting call, read the Patriot Ledger and visit PatriotLedger.com. For the Patriot Ledger, I'm Jack Encarnacio.